Okay, so today we're going to discuss patterns. Pattern fills are just like solid fills. We have solid fills and we have some gradient fills. They're all in the swatches panel. There are also pattern fills. So how do you get patterns? How do you resize patterns? How do you recolor patterns? Let's get into that. So first, in the swatches panel on the bottom, there's the libraries where you can get all kinds of swatches and you can get the solid color swatches, you can get the gradients, and you can also get the patterns. So in the patterns, I'm going to go ahead and choose the decorative legacy. And the new panel opens up with the decorative legacy patterns. So I'm going to move the swatches here to the side and this as well. And here you can go and choose whichever pattern you want. Now, as you choose a pattern from your additional library, it automatically gets added to your swatches panel so that later on, if you want it, you can always have access to it. You can also go to the little menu inside of the panel and choose the large thumbnail view so I get a little bit of an idea of what the pattern looks like before I actually choose that pattern. And you can do it in the swatches panel as well. You can go here to the menu and choose large thumbnail view so that you're actually able to see those swatches. So let's say I did choose a pattern and I want to change the size, not the entire object. I want the object to stay the same size, just the pattern inside of the object. Now, the way you do it is, is you right click and choose transform and then choose scale. Now, this is just the scale, just like any other scale, but here you have the option of scaling just the patterns or the patterns and the object. So here I'm going to go here and uncheck the object, which is the square, just checking the patterns. And now I'm going to go and resize this pattern. So let's say I want it to be double the size. I'll put in 200, but instead of pressing OK, I'm going to press the tab key just to see what it looks like to see if I like it or not. And if I do like it, I can press OK. But if I still want to adjust it, I can now go and change it to a different number. Let's say I want it even bigger. I'll do 250 and then press tab. Yep, I like it. And now I'm just going to press OK. Now the same goes with the rotating because you can rotate the entire thing, but I don't want to rotate the entire thing. I only want to rotate the pattern. So now I'm right clicking, choosing transform again, and this time I'm going to go to rotate. And again, I'm going to leave this unchecked. Transform patterns is checked and it, let's change the angle to 90 degrees or you can do half of 90, which is 45 degrees, or you can just go and click on the wheel and decide which direction you want to go, which angle. And once you like that angle, you just press OK. Now, how do you change the color of a pattern? So to change the color of a pattern, I'm going to go and choose a more of a simpler one, keep it selected. And then you go to the swatches panel, to the menu, and you click on Add Selected Colors. Now what's going to happen is it's going to add the colors from this pattern, which are these two colors as a global color. A global color means that if you double click the color here in the swatches panel and you change it here, it's linked to the colors in your document and it's automatically going to change inside of a document. Let me show you. So I'm going to go here and make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to double click this color opening it up in the swatch options, I'll do preview on. And now when I move the color sliders, they're actually going to change inside of my document. So let's say I want to do more of like a brownish look and something like this. And I'm going to press OK. And if I want to do the other color as well, I'm going to double click it over here and preview on so I see what I'm doing. and just going to go here and move it up like so and press OK. And here is my edited color, which is still a pattern. And you want to see because I now want to go and scale it. I'm going to select it and then right click and scale. Here is my 250 from before and I like it and I'm going to press OK. So see, it's still a pattern. It's still scalable. Right click again, transform and rotate. And this time I'm going to do half of 90 which is 45 and there you go and click OK. So it's still a pattern. 
with new colors. Okay, now, how do you make your own pattern? How do you start from scratch? So let me show you. Now the rule with making your own pattern is that whatever pattern you do should be in a very even square. I'm going to delete this. I don't need this anymore. Because of that, before I even start working on the pattern, I'm going to go up to view and do show grid and then view snap to grid because the pattern it's an even square. So I'm going to start very simple. I'll go to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make one square and it's going to snap in. So you want to make it even bigger. So just click and drag and it's going to snap in and you decide how big you want it to be. And again, it's very easy to scale later. I don't need a stroke, so I'm gonna click on stroke and then press on none. And then for the fill, I need a solid color. So I'm gonna go and choose red. And then I'm gonna go and duplicate it. I'm gonna press Alt, click and drag. I'm making another square. And the reason why I want it to snap is because I don't want any space in between the two. So if I move it, close to it and it snaps, I know for sure that there's no space in between the two. And now I'm going to go and color this yellow. So I have a red and a yellow square that is actually pretty tiny. But I'm going to go here and select both of them. So you can just go outside, click and start dragging over the two like this, and then select both of them together. Come on over to the swatches panel and just drop it in there. So right now we created a pattern. And let me show you that pattern. So I'm going to move this outside of my document and I'm going to create a big rectangle. And I want to fill this with my new pattern, which is a red and yellow stripe. So what if I wanted to go horizontal? And what if I wanted to go diagonal? So back to our selection tool. And then I'm going to right click again and go to transform and rotate. We're going to uncheck object, just one of the patterns. And here is a 45 degree angle giving me beautiful diagonal lines. If I want it to be just horizontal lines, I'll put in a 90 and pressing tab. So now I have horizontal lines where the 45 is diagonal lines and I want it to go the opposite direction. I'm going to do negative 45 and there you go. Here is my beautiful custom made simple pattern. So now, how about doing like a checkerboard? So I'm going to go and do the red. I'm going to copy that and do another one of the red. And then I'll copy the yellow and do another one of the yellow. So now I have this checkerboard. I'm going to go now, select all of them, and drag them into the swatches panel to create another swatch. Now, I'm going to go to my rectangle here and this is my checkerboard that I just created. You can rotate it into a 45 degree angle again unchecking an object and click OK and look how beautiful. Now let's say I have my pattern which is yellow and red and I want to change the color. You could convert it into a global color which we did before by just selecting and then swatch and do um, add selected colors and change that or you can also replace the pattern. So let's say I want it to be black and red for like a checkerboard instead of yellow and red. So I'm going to go here and change this to black. And now instead of dragging it and making an additional one, I can drag it and then press Alt or Option and go over the old one. And as I'm pressing Alt or Option, it lets me go directly over the old swatch, click on it, and now I just went and replaced the original swatch that I have, which is now black and red instead of yellow and red. And you can even go and add some elements to your pattern. Let's say I want to go here and I want to add a circle. So I'm going to go here to my um, ellipse tool and I'm going to add a circle in the center. And let's do that yellow. And then again, I can make a new pattern out of it or replace the old one. So ju let's just replace the old one. So selecting everything, moving it over to the swatches panel, pressing Alt, dropping it over that previous one. And now Look how pretty it just created a brand new pattern from my old one. And if I click on it again, I get the actual pattern without the rotation added to it. So this is basically a very, very simple way of making patterns.
There's so much more to patterns, so much more to customizing patterns and to changing the spacing and the way they run together. But this video is getting a little too long, so I'm going to post another video getting much more into details into the pattern editing and it comes with its own set of tools even and it's really really cool so we're going to do that in our next video i hope you enjoyed this one